He came with a whip. But though, that that's his parents. Not something whip. else. So did he buy whip. the damn whippy man? To a black Who house. bought the damn whip? He definitely didn't to buy a black house. House. He, Did he buy the whip? Yes or no? Question. Did he buy the whip? I'm sure he did not. Whose whip is that? Is that the parents' whip or his whip? Probably something that they had in the house. Probably okay, so that means he felt comfortable enough to take his parents' whip out of the house. Right there, that's a that's yeah, that's a problem yeah. out there. That you're comfortable to take your parents' property out of the house to beat on the neighbor's door. Knocked on the door with a whip. Oh! oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Start the video wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Start it over. <laughs> I, I need to understand how black parents and like just seeing that visual, knowing how my parents will react. Jesus Christ. All right, Jody, go ahead. Let's play the video. Let's play that Rihanna. I wasn't ready for that. Let's go ahead and play that Rihanna real quick. You know what song I'm talking about. That <laughs> Rihanna real quick. That uh murderer? Yeah, bro, because that's a that's a murder in action. <laughs> Mine did. Ma maybe the whip just happens to be like for his horse or something. Maybe it's not racial. We need to stop yeah. being toxic. We're being toxic right now. Just because a white boy knocks on the door with a whip, any boy would do that if he had, you know, pa pa pa. Like just like a stick. I don't say yes. All right, I think, let's, let's I, think I wasn't ready for that. But let me continue. take some. Children are pure. Children, relatively speaking, are pure. We are the ones with our toxic minds who have been stained by this. That's trash why I need to finish this video. That's why I need to hear what he says. Right. That's right. That's right. That's why I need to hear what he says. I agree with you. I just need to hear what he says. Here we are. Shoot. Oh, he beats on the door. Oh, a little hard though. Ooh. Bro, that. You better get your ass from off my porch beating on my door like this. I will call the police. You need to leave. Don't you ever beat on my goddamn door like that. Go. Okay. Who she handled that? All right, see. She handled that with more grace. All right, for sure. I can just tell you, my mother wouldn't handle that like that. My grandmother wouldn't handle it like that. My grandfather would. Handle... Every woman in my life would not have handled that situation. Thank God for women that that was. Thank God that never happened to me. Cause I swear to God, it why you doing that with like your that. nose? Why are you looking a certain way? Did you see what that little motherfucker did? He yeah. pulled that whip all the way out, like he was going to hit her with but it. But see, I need you to understand the great. So. It's not yeah, about the little boy. No, no, it's no, not no, even no. about the little boy. Yeah. Cause if, cause again, kids are reflections of their parents. Because if he's acting that way, that means your daddy feels some type of way. We're not fucking up Probably. no little kid. But we're gonna be like, okay for sure. You do. We would have. Oh yeah. Oh no 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 problem no problem. Put the yeah, whip yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, where you live? And then, you know, we would then be like, your son have this? The parents would have got fucked up. And that's said, oh, I'm sorry. They would have got messed up in that situation. There was a situation on a, as a that's bus driver. That's not normal. Did. With a little, with a female spit on that bus driver. This is worse. She spit. He came with a nah, whip. He knocked on that door almost as if he didn't know there was a black person. That it was lived aggressively. There. He too. was shocked once he saw the aggression that came from that woman. Yeah. Now, I think that he was just knocking on the door. Any random door, and it just so happened to be black. He just so happened to be having a whip in his hands. What you I'm saying no because that's a whip. And that means look at that. that you just, think he I'm knows what, what a whip means? I'm assuming no, not him. Yeah, it's the parents. So the dad and said, because, "Hey, son, here's a whip. Go knock on neighbors' I don't doors. see no horses in that area. And then I'm assuming that one, the boy knocking on the door like that before the whip even come out is no manners. Even so, the boy got no home training. That's that's for one thing. Even then. Obviously, for him to walk at that particular neighbor's house, obviously, he heard some sort of verbiage or language to go. He didn't go to the neighbor's house. He went to that house. And I'm going, this is not the kids that I'm blaming. It's the parents. So I'm assuming, oh, yeah, look at her across the street. Now, I'm not saying the whip is more a less representation because I agree with you. He don't know what the whip means. Yeah. But he's I'm sure he's seen at that age visual representations of how his parents feel about a certain race. Now, maybe this is like maybe too deep for y'all, but visual representations mean a lot, especially in this world. So I'm assuming that he took liberties. He's reflecting how his parents really feel about this neighbor who he's door. He's not going to cross the street. Right, right. Because I need you to understand when you live in a neighborhood like this, these kids know who this neighbor is. He didn't walk across over there. 
I'm he's getting bullshit there. vibes from him man next to you, bro. He said he 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 looking at you like exactly what shit. I'm getting. Look, okay, wait, 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 wait. Little Opie Dennis the Minutes knew what the fuck he was doing. Little Opie knew what he was doing with that win. And the reason why I call that respectfully, man, respectfully, man, respectfully, man, this is not a knock. This is not a knock because that little boy. Can I finish? I'm gonna let you go off. I'm gonna let you have your whole minute because you you under you did not interrupt me. Minute, minute. You did not interrupt me, and I'm gonna let you have it. But I'm gonna tell you is, man, as a point of reference. I'm more familiar with a cul-de-sac and neighborhood like this because I lived in one like that my whole goddamn life. So I'm, I didn't come from a neighborhood of niggerdom. I've seen people compete like that. Neighbors compete like that. Even to this day, I still neighbors compete like that. Mm -hmm. Did you seen the, um, the, the, the Kravitz? You've seen the Christmas, well, Christmas with the Kramers where neighbors compete against each other next door? He didn't just rack on a number. How? Neighbors do that. Mm -hmm. That's the thing when you own a home like that. When you own a home, or you've seen parents, or you've seen grandparents own homes, you see the reputation that people have in that neighborhood. That's the thing. Okay. Now, I'm not knocking you. I'm just telling you something that I've experienced. Now, you can say what you want. Lil Opie knew what the fuck he was doing. Lil Opie saw that shit, came for, uh, came for that shit, saw, knew that this woman, with knew these people was black. He grew up around racism. He knows about racism. This is a point right now. He's old enough to know, like, just because my parents is racist don't mean I got to be. He's, he's old enough to do that. He's looking like about, like, nine or ten years old. He know I don't have to be this way because my parents are this way. He did that shit on purpose. And when he came up there, he came up there with aggression. He didn't come up there like, okay, oh, shit, let me back so away. He, knew everything he had he was anger doing. in his face. He, he's a racist. He was a racist child. My boy came out with a whip like this. Then he whipped it out while she was talking to him. The whole whip was out like this so you on the think, floor. You think that that's a racist child who don't like black people? Yes. You think he looks to be above, about eight years old. So you think he consciously went over there with a whip to a black person's house to make them come to the door so he could whip them like a slave? Yes. God damn. You with that? No, because he don't understand. I'm sure he's probably replicating or imitating or something his parents said. Or something his a uh, he probably saw in the movie, or maybe something his friends amongst his friends talk about beating on the neighbor's kid next door because I'm pretty sure they have a child next door. I'm pretty sure they're not just beating on just a, a neighborless childless kid next door. Right. I'm pretty sure they all go to the same school because that's how couple sex and neighborhoods like that work. Kids like that all go to the same school. If that wasn't that's why I think the neighbor responded to the kid the way that she responded. That woman don't sound, she sounded like she has a child and she responded as if she had a child because she didn't cuss out the child like like a nor, like somebody without a child would have. I have a question. Who don't care. Of, I have a question about both of you fellas. What's up, what's right up, now. what's up? If a little, that little boy came to your door, banging on your door mm -hmm. with a whip in his hand, what would you think? I will blame the parents. I don't think this bad little boy is hitting my door with a whip. What are you doing? I'll blame the parents. My door like that. Use my doorbell. You see What's the aggression in his face. Oh, I don't blame the kid. I don't see no aggression. Oh, no. In his you go back to the video. You can see how he. Had, I don't. Yeah, he beat he on anger, the, the he kid. Anger in the face. No, no. I look. He, no home. Face. That's no home training. That's what I equate that to. Look at the face. He's mad as shit. I don't that's care. Bad, that's an eight year old. That's a child. bad little Dennis the Menace motherfucker. Yes, bro. I don't. He's mad as shit. Yeah, he's a bad little boy. Yeah, that's what I equate that to. Now instead of saying, excuse me. Uh, your son did this. Uh, he has no I'm home training. I'm just gonna explain to you this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came with a whip. But no, that that's his parents. Not something else. But did he buy the damn whip, he man? To a black Who house. Who bought the damn whip? He definitely didn't to buy a that black house. He, did he buy the whip? Yes or no, that's nigga? Question. Did he buy the whip? I'm sure he did not. Whose whip is that? Is that the parents' whip or his whip? Probably something that they had in the house. Probably okay, so no, that means he felt comfortable enough to take his parents' whip out of the house. Right there, that's a that's yeah, that's a problem yeah. out there. That you're comfortable to take your parents' property out of the house to beat on the neighbor's door. I'm not even getting to the fact that he banged on the door like he lost his fucking mind. What would you like, do in bro, that situation? I already told you what, what I you would want? do. I would look at the kid. See, I grew up with a, oh, oh, and I would have took the whip from him. Oh, I'm going to what's going on with you? It don't matter what the kid said. Can you take with you? Where, where your mama at? Where your daddy at? And that would have, and then that, the vocal, I, I'm not going to cuss out a child. That vocalization goes that to the That right parent. there, what you just said. Why would, <laughs> why you say that you wouldn't cuss out a child? Because a child doesn't understand what he's doing or saying, or he doesn't understand the repercussions of what he's doing. He's not old enough to understand what that context means. So for me to cuss at a child and give him the same energy yeah. that I would give his, I think that energy should be reserved for the adult because that kid don't. That's not going to change anything. So if that he kid, don't pay no bills, he don't do shit. Said, don't I'm, touch me. I go don't to the touch kid. me. You freaking. So you will punch a child. You like that nigga from Apple Valley when the nigga walked up the door and just me slapped the kid in the face, bro. That's that's the type of nigga you slap a kid in the face. 
That's what that shit when that, that's the type of nigga you are. He'll talk bro. like you'll slap a kid in the face, but he's. I know he's, that. So yeah, nigga, you so nigga knowing you if a nigga knocked on your door like that, you will fuck. No, what nine one one gonna do? Fuck nine one one. No, you go to the. It's like I'm call the cops on me. I'm calling the cops. All right, for sure. For a little kid, for sure, I'm gonna call the cops. I agree. I agree with not cussing at children, bro. But I would not have cussed at Grady. As an adult, you shouldn't be cussing. This is a hate crime. No, I would have. First of all, I it would have go it would have been assault because I would have fucked up the parents. Now, yeah, you want to know the Uncle Ruckus side of me? The Uncle Ruckus side of me would have whooped the parents' ass because I wouldn't have fucked up no kid. It's the same way where if a girl cuss you out, you're not gonna punch out the girl. You're gonna punch out the boyfriend, right? Yeah. What type of nigga are you? Right. Okay, the same principle here. Are you gonna punch the child? Or are you gonna punch the nigga who he learned that shit from? That's the world I operate. I don't know what principles you have. Those are my principles. Back in my toxic days when I was young and dumb and full of cum, I had this neighbor who was evil. She was old though. I couldn't stand her. Everything she did to try to get me out, get me in trouble in, with the, at the property, she did it. And one day I just got so fed up. Like I heard her snitching on me to the management office while I was under her window taking the trash out. Anyway, anyway I went to her door and I said, I'm tired of your shit, old lady. And because you keep effing with me, the next time I see your son, I'm beating the shit out of him <laughs> just to get at you. <laughs> that shit stop. <laughs> that shit stop. The calls, the snitching, at least as much as I thought, it stopped, bro. And that's what you do, bro. I'm gonna get at you for that. With this boy, if I thought that that kid was really racist, best believe, where do you live? I'm talking to your daddy. Yeah. I'm taking you there. You show me where you live. And I want to have a conversation with your father. Where the heck do you get this ideology from? Dismiss the son. I don't want him to see it. I need to have a conversation with that dad. And then we'll see what happens there. That's how it should be done. Yeah. You don't cuss out no child. Exactly.